Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. Welcome to all my new subscribers, as well as all of you who watch me on a regular basis. Thank you, thank you for watching, commenting, hitting the thumbs up, liking my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you, and you're all so special to me. Well, now today, <laughs> funny, I was in here crafting, I'm working on a project, and I thought, hey, I should turn this on because it might be something someone's interested in. What I'm working today falls along the line of storage, and um, I'm trying to find a solution for digitals that I keep on the corner of my desk that I use all the time. In other words, they're digitals that I use for ephemera, for background, for P just you'll see in a minute. Anyway, so what has happened is it started with just a few in a tray, and it has expanded to this. Now that is approximately, I'm going to, give me a second here. That is approximately eight inches tall. From here to here is eight inches tall. And these are kits, but they're kits that a lot of times I just cut them as I need them. They're things from Shabby Dabby Duda, whether they're street signs or hats or um, pictures of, let's say, these. So those are the th words. I mean, all kinds of kits that I use. I just pull through and I go, okay, I'm going to use these on my project today. They're not buried away with my other full background digital kits. And so these are just like ephemera kits. No, no digitals in here, I don't think. <clears throat> well, I'll find out when I go to store everything. So what happens is I want, want something now. I'm going through an eight-inch pile of these things. So what I want to do is make some storage for them in place of that. I may take them out of their little plastic files and put them in. Now, I'll show you. I honestly thought that, you know, piling them up like that in, you know, uh, a nice plastic pouch, keeping all the pieces together was the way to go. But it's just getting crazy. It falls over all the time. It's quite a disaster. So, um, I saw a video by E, and she um, made this cool, expandable file folder that you can put on your desk. Now, I know you can buy them like this with the flip on the top and all that, but what I want to do, you'll see these are expanders, expandable file folders. They're not just flat file folders, okay? They're the, I think these are two-inch expansion or one-inch. Maybe these are one-inch. Let me see. Oh, yeah, they're full one-inch. So what I've been doing is putting them all together. They will expand out more and you will see it. They stand up. So I'm thinking if I move them off the corner of my desk, turn it so I can see um, what's in it. And then what I will do is put the kits in there. But I don't know if I will leave them in their plastic pouches because I don't know if it's going to be too heavy. But this is going to expand out a lot. You'll see. It looks like it won't, but it will. So what I'm using are expandable file folders I got on um, Amazon. They're no, they're true red, T-R-U-R-E-D. I didn't go for a brand. I went for a look. And what happens with these is, and I'll show you on this one, see how the bottom expands out. And you know, I thought there might be more than just me who needs these. See now, once they expand out, they really sit up well. So as you fill them up, this is gonna get pretty wide, which I have a good size space, you know, I can put them in. So what I've been doing is, <clears throat> I just been taking my, this is double-sided adhesive, perfect for card making, scrapbooking, embossing, again, off of Amazon, it's Sign World Premium, but I just put in, you know, the size I wanted one inch, um, double-sided adhesive and this is what popped up on Amazon. I ordered this quite a while ago, could be over a year. So I don't know which brands I'll have, but if you go on Amazon, you search, you can find just about anything you need. Wasn't too expensive, so I was very happy with that. And I've been putting it down, cutting strips and putting it down. And then, you know, I just take my little goodie and I burnish it down. Now these I haven't pulled because I'm going to take and make a front folder and then there'll be the back of it because you kind of can see this in my room so I really wanted it to have some you know unique look 
case you could see it when I have everything all loaded. At least the front you will. You might see the back. You never know. So I haven't put those on yet. I figured what I would do. I want to see. Now, how is this one going to go on? This is the back. Okay, so that'll go on just like the others. So what I thought I might do is I'll show you how I um, put the tape on just one of them because I've already got the others ready to go. I have left the back and the front to decorate first before I hook it all together because I think it's just going to be too big a pain in the you-know-what to try to... Um... Let me make sure this is recording. Okie dokie, it is. So I was working along and I thought, you know, I bet there's other people that want some storage solutions and they don't want to go out and spend bucks at, you know, Target or wherever. Now, one thing I have been doing is I have been leaving a little space at the bottom. So it gives me a little wiggle room for, let me turn this this way. Um, be careful, this is, once it's down, it's down. It's very, 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 very unforgiving. Once it touches the paper, it's on there. So that's all I do. I just put it down. Um, you could do this with glue or anything you want. When I first learned to make these accordion files, I learned it with double-sided sticky paper years ago. So I just always use that. But you could do glue. Just pick your spot. Now, one thing. Don't go to the very bottom. Don't go to the very top. Do not cover the whole thing. You think, oh, that'll make it stronger. No, it won't open. It doesn't open correctly. So just in the middle. Okay, don't, don't go anywhere else, just in the middle, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be even. Just get it on there. They can touch each other, like that went really crooked, so it's like, alrighty, I don't care. No one's gonna see it. It's just to keep it pretty, you know, strong in the middle. And I'm just gonna burnish it. I recommend always burnishing your two-sided stick tape down. I know a lot of, some gals don't, and then they wonder why it comes right off, that's why. All right, so this is our back, and what I want to do is I want to cover my surfaces, so that's what I'm going to do. I thought you guys might get a kick out of watching that. Now, I notice these are round. Also, ooh, it's a little longer, so I'm going to use this as my... Mm, come on now. Be good. Behave. I am going to... Let's see, I'll try to keep my head out of here not possible right this does have to be pretty close to perfect though okay now I think this is going to require Big Bertha to work on I pre-cut everything except for this one piece I don't know why I didn't cut this like I said I've been working on this for a little while today I wasn't going to make a video but owie Boy, don't try to grab this big heavy thing Ouch, with one hand. That's not smart. Totally not smart. I don't know what's with my chair today. It's so squirrely. Need my new floors. I'm going to get a, um, a high definition um, vinyl planking in here so that it's completely uh, waterproof and it's spillproof and hopefully it'll take anything, whether I get paint on the floor or whatever. It's supposed to work pretty well. So. I'm excited, but I don't know how soon it'll happen. Actually, I do know that this is going to be one of the second to the last room we do. The last one will be my sewing studio. Now, this is just good old-fashioned scrapbook paper. Uh, let me see. I don't think I have the pad. Let me look. Let's see if I do. Oh, I do. Okay. Got this, I think, at either Michael's or... Ouch! Uh, Michael's. I stubbed my toe on my big board. This is paper pad block by recollections this is sweet ambrosia ambrosia dolce dolce which is mean sweet um 48 sheets so this is the pad i'm using for this it's pretty huh it's a couple years old i suppose you could try to source it somewhere i have no idea where you would source it from but it's one of my favorites i use it all the time for things i've had it for ooh, i don't know three to five years but if you just had to have it and you're totally resourceful, you may find it by go Hello. Um, <laughs> what, is, what is with me in these things lately? You should, I have these things all over my desk. I'm going to have to have like a major cleaning. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. Oh, okay. Guess I needed to empty that one. There wasn't hardly anything in it, but oh. there we go. Perfection. Okay. 
So, um, not that anything's ever perfect, but as close as I'm going to get anyhow. I'm going to use um, Zantac. I'm Zantac. <laughs> oh my gosh, maybe I should turn it off. <laughs> Fabri-Tac. <laughs> Fabri-Tac on this. Uh, I shouldn't be talking. I'll just do this. You can just watch me. I'll just not say a word. I think I'll just be. The reason is because it's forgiving. I can move it around if I use art glitter glue. I can also use glue sticks. So you know what? Maybe I'll do the glue stick and then just go around the edges if I don't get it tight. Let's try that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm having a moment. <laughs> Wait, where's my paper? I'm looking for. <laughs> I would have a case of the giggles. <laughs> This is my mat, and you can get glue on that. But because I'm also using that, I don't want to get glue on it right now. So let's use something that I don't care about. I can put it down, and it's no biggie, right? So <laughs> this is a lot to glue. This is a this is a 12 by 12 paper pad. So you gotta know that. Ah, well, how are you all today? <laughs> we know Lorette's got a case of the giggles. A hey, boy. Okay. I hope you're all doing very well. You're having a good day. What are you up to? What you making? What's happening? Anything exciting going on in your life? Nothing new since the last video you saw from me. Um, oh, goodness. I do want to do a little Easter decorating. It's coming right up. And I, by now, I usually have up my spring and Easter decorating. I decorate my house for every season and every holiday just because it's fun and you know, I'm not going to go all out. I'm just going to put out a few. I have a few decorations. I like to do my dining room table in the dining room because you see it from the house when you walk by it all the time. I always decorate it up pretty. I'll take pictures if, uh, if I do so you can see what I did. Alrighty, now. This is the back. This is what you're going to see. You'll see why I glue stick this or fabric, fabric tacked it. <laughs> not Zan tacked it. <laughs> It doesn't have an upset tummy. <laughs> uh, <dude. laughs> oh my goodness, your friend's losing her mind. Oh, nothing new. It's a terrible thing to waste, isn't it? A mind, a terrible thing to waste. Of all the things I miss the most, I miss my mind the most. Actually, it's, of all the things I've lost, I miss my mind the most is what the saying is. <laughs> of all the things I've lost, I miss my mind the most. I made my mom, a, she, my mom would joke about that all the time. So I made my mom a pretty sweatshirt with that saying on it. it. had a pretty little flowers and pretty little teddy bears. It was back in the, oh, 80s, I guess. It was a birthday mother, no, it was a Mother's Day gift. She was so offended. <laughs> she said it all the time. I thought she'd get a kick out of it. <laughs> she was totally offended. And I thought she lost her mind, but I said, but mama, you always say that. She goes, well, that's for me to say. I said, well, I wasn't saying it. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Talk about making a major faux pas. Yikes. I don't know if she ever wore it. It seemed like it was pretty... She used to... Her and my dad used to have a, a trailer, and they would go out to... They had a membership to Thousand Trails Resort, and, um, you know, all over the... that, And they had so many all over the country. I should know what that is by heart, because I used to sell the membership. Got them to buy one and, you know, travel. <clears throat> but anyway... <laughs> So she used to wear her sweatshirts to all of her little crafty events at these things because there would be arts and crafts going on. A lot of times she taught at the different resorts, taught arts and crafts and sewing and stuff, you know, when she would go out there. And <clears throat> so I thought, well, she, you know, she could wear this on. But she said, oh, I've never worn that thing. But the funny thing was when she passed away, I found it and it was very worn, very, very worn. She just didn't want me to know she liked it. <laughs> Oh, gosh, you guys, I was in so much trouble. Oh, you have no idea. You should have seen the look. We used to call it the look. It's when I learned. <laughs> it's like went on in my life. I perfected with my kids. But, oh, my gosh, I got the look. Oh, it was horrible. I was mortified. I about cried because I spent, oh, oh, I worked so hard on this thing. It had lace and pearls and roses. It was very dimensional sweatshirt. It was beautiful. Kind of like the work I do now. I've been doing this work forever. I've always added roses and lace and pearls and, you know, goodies. And I found the perfect little iron-on um, bears and flowers. It was a cluster thing. I wonder if I still have it. I bet I kept it. I don't think I got rid of it. It might be hanging in my closet. I should look. My guest room closet here. Or my craft room closet, I should say. It might be in there. I'll have to look. Or it's in a box in the storage. But anyway, if I ever find it, I'll show you guys. But oh, I couldn't get rid of it because it has so many memories. It was funny. 
Not at the time. I can laugh now, but oh, man. Talking about being in trouble with your mom. Good thing I was already married and had kids, you know. It's not like I had to live with her and deal with the disapproval every day. Uh, my dad told me later that she wore it all the time, especially out at the resort, and she would show it to everybody, and it was like everybody loved it, and they were like, oh, my God, I could so relate. She would get so many conversations going. I was just not sure that I believed that she actually wore it. I thought he was just trying to make me feel better. <laughs> so. I think what I'll do is I'll do a little pink out here. I don't know if this is the right color yet, but I've got this out, so I'll just go ahead and give it a little ink, and, and then I'll, if I need a different color, we'll just go over it, because that's the nice thing about these inks. You can just add colors and layers and, you know, do your thing, so. Ah, good day for a good memory, right? It's a beautiful day here in California. It is going to be 82. Snikes, they're saying that it is a, um, we're breaking heat records all kinds all over the place. We're breaking all kinds of national averages and heat records for this day of the year or this time. I don't know. I can't remember how long ago it's been if there's ever been this hot at this early. So, well, yeah, it has. I remember one May was like a hundred and something. That would be back in the, around 2000 or so. Sorry, I'm moving this around a lot, but it's hard to hang on to it and do it in the air, but um, it's easier for me to do it that way. Don't ask me why. I don't know. All right. Now. Okay. So our back is, if I want to add a pocket, I could, or a belly band, but I'm thinking this is going to be so heavy that I'm not going to want to do that. I think I'm just going to, why did I do the front? Because it just dawned on me. It's going to be glued down. You're not going to see it, but you never know. All right, so let's go to the front piece. All right, so I've already done some work. I want to put a pocket on the front. So I just took a piece of heavy cardboard off of something that I got in the mail or whatever. Um, no, I think it might have come on some sheets or something. I don't know. But anyway, it's good and heavy because I want to make a good pocket on the front for maybe some small little pieces I want to tuck in and it may be that later on I'll want to do the same thing in the back so you know nothing is I can always add one right especially if I have more paper so what I think I want to do first thing is I'm going to I am going to ink around this a bit because you know there's always that bit of white that you see whether you want to or not Actually, that's a prettier side, so if you were to... No, that's a better side. <sighs> so, now that we've had our morning giggle, or two, or three. I don't know, I may not talk all the way through this, because I don't have a lot to say. Could talk about my mom, I guess. I don't know, she was a funny lady. She had a good sense of humor when she, when she let herself use it, you know? She was funny as heck. She was always so serious, so stern. But she had a very serious, stern life. So I guess, you know, I get it. Or, you know, grew up in the Depression and had a lot of hard times. So it was hard for her because she was living. My grandmother, who I'm named after, which would have been her mother, died when she was a baby. Her dad, unfortunately, was a major alcoholic. But, um,. It was very, very hard on her and her sister. Her, no, just her. Because her sister was a half-sister. They had the same mother, but different dads. Or, no, different. They had the same dad, different mothers. That's right. So he was hard on both of them. And he got tired of raising the girls. So he sent my auntie to the time they were living in San Jose to live with some, her mom's side of the family and then he sent my mom to live with his mother her grandmother and she was very wealthy very very wealthy and they went to move to Morgan Hill and um, so she lived a very privileged lifestyle for quite some time when she got away from the abuse of her dad grandma taught her everything they quilted together and did art together and um, you know she was a lovely little girl and then the depression hit and that 
changed her forever. And so they lost a lot. They were able to keep their home and things, but she had to learn to put cardboard in the shoes and, you know, you, every dress you had got saved and made into things and curtains and curtains got made into dresses and vice versa. And, you know, they, she learned to economize to the nth degree, but you know, her grandmother was very thrifty, even though she was a wealthy woman. She didn't, I don't know if she was always wealthy or one time in her life, maybe she didn't have money, but she taught my mom to economize and my mom learned. Therefore she taught us, which is where I get my, got to save it thing from legitimately. Uh oh, I should have waited till it dried. <laughs> huh, I'm gonna have to get my little pokey tool and get that out of there. There we go. <clears throat> this takes two hands sometimes. Oh goodness. It will cut. I mean, this is a newer one. I have the original um, creative memory cutters. I, again, I went online and found the newest version. I was a creative memory consultant for all of five minutes, so. <laughs> um, I have a lot of creative memory stuff. More than I'll ever, ever use or need or whatever. I probably should just stash some of it. That corner's kind of... Come on now. There we go. I'm thinking I want a little thumb hole, too. I think I want bigger than an inch. Wouldn't you think? I mean, I think if I was trying to get something out of there, it slid down in there. Could be a problem, right? Maybe we'll do the two-incher. Oh, boy. Eyeballing this is going to be fun. Fine. Oh, wow. That went through my ear. <laughs> that was a hard punch. Boy, was it. This is a really, this is an AK tools punch, which I love them the best. I prefer them over anything because they will cut stuff like that. I mean, that's pretty thick. So, and we'll give that a little ink just to get rid of the white. I really didn't think this would show us. This was more just to get rid of the white. All right, now make sure. See, so we have our pocket. It doesn't go right to the edges. I purposely didn't go all the way to the edge. I've already pre-cut this to match this. Now, if you're wondering how the heck did she do that, I'll give you a little, I'll give you a little tip. What you do is you cut it the width you want to fit inside. You slide it in. This is not that easy because of these folds, I'll tell you. There we go. Come on now, get in there. Then I put it right to the very edge, right? I got it to the edge. And I just took a pencil, I drew around it, cut it, and that's what you get. Ta-da, da 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 All right, there you go. Now, I do see a little white, but I don't wanna cut it off because I don't know if it'll affect how it fits, so I'm just gonna ink her. Fairly, fairly quick project. And we'll have this done in a few minutes. But the thing will be is like, do we want to decorate it? Well, of course we do. Why wouldn't we, right? Now, a lot of this is going to be seen on the sides, but not... Um, because I've got this just coming up here and then that's going to cover that. So I'll just go down the, the immediate sides. Well, theoretically this is, but now I'm wondering. Oh yeah, that is gonna show funkily. Is it? How did this get cut shorter? Hmm, weird. You're gonna see the file folder. Whoa, what can I do to fix that, guys? Uh, maybe I'll put some lace down there or something. Oh, I'll find a way. There's always a way to fix it, as you know. Just dawned to me, this did not go all the way to the bottom. Okay. Well. Now, before I glue that on there, let me make sure. Oh, it is a straight edge. Okay. 
Oh, I think I'm, what I'm seeing is this fold. I think it does cover it, but we'll see. Okay, I need a little water here. It's warm in here today. It's morning, but it's already 77 degrees and climbing, which means it's 80 something in here till the air conditioner comes on. We try to start the house out cool in the morning so that we don't have to run the air all day. Concentrating just a little bit. Try to get all your corners and all that good stuff. Now it's the fun part. I'm going to worry about the top more than anything and the side to side. I will be doing some May drinking here. That is the tricky part when you cut it to match exactly. I gotta stick my head in here, guys. I just have to. I cannot see to do what I'm doing. that any better? Now that's off on that side. Ah, this is not so easy, guys. Not so easy. Okay. Alrighty, let's start this again because that glue, you know, it gets funky if you take it off too many times. So besides the more glue you have on there, the more likely I am to be able to slide it. I know there's tricks to doing this. I just don't know that I'm up for perfection today just get it close enough to where I'm happy with it maybe if I do it to where it's on one side that way let's try it this way I was trying to do it so you guys could see but I'm gonna have to do it so I could see and of course now I got it sticky so it wants to stick to me there we go Whew. well you know the third time's a charm right First time didn't work, second time didn't work, third time, we got it. A little booble. I will definitely probably have to go back with some. Yep. I haven't used this yet today, so let's just automatically make sure this puppy's clear. Hopefully good for the day. Come on now. You saw me clear that. Oh my goodness. Let's see if that'll work. Sometimes, honestly, this art glitter glue is not worth it. It just isn't it sticks so good but it's such a pain it was cold last night in here so probably didn't like the cold too much we knew it was gonna be hot today so we let the house get pretty cold last night now I could have cut this out or cut it off if I didn't want that, see now, look at it. <laughs> uh, and what was I just saying? Oh my goodness. Do I need glue anywhere on here? Because, yeah, I do. I'm leaving it a mess. I'll clean it in just a minute. I figure if I take, if I, if I glue something down, it will take the pressure off the bottle, hopefully. Um. Oh, okay. Well, 
Isn't that special? Isn't that special? Here is bragging yesterday that I don't need to use a pen. <laughs> ha! Never say never. Oof. That'll mess you up every time. All right. What I think I'll do maybe before I put the pocket on is I'm going to do this upper. And make sure it's going to fit in. And it's not. Okay, so what do we want to do? I'm actually going to put it on kind of upside down. cutter today. thought this project was going to be kind of free of that, but what do I know, right? Where'd it go? Oh. Bird brain here. See, if I put it in right way, then you'll never see the flowers, but I want to see the flowers. So I'm going to put it in upside down because I don't care about seeing the teapots. I want to make sure that's going to fit. It's still buckling on me. Mm, okay, well, we're going to take a little bit more off. <sighs> there. Yay, we got it. I just knock on the floor. Oh, my glue paper. No, oh, I don't need it right now. I'll get it later. And I am going to trim the corners because this is rounded. I am making this just for me. It's not for anybody but me. And why do I do fancy for me? Because I like pretty things. I like my room to be pretty and I like pretty things in it. Okay, so um, I'll glue that in a minute. I don't want that to dry out. So this time I am going to ink it. I swear I have to re-ink this pad all the time. I use it so much. I really need to buy another sponge sugar pad. This, I mean, I'm literally wearing the felt out on it. It's crazy. Well, I'm here. I might as well do this part right. See, and there goes all that little whiteness that I was worried about. It's covered. Well, it's not white. It's actually fall folder-ish. Fall folder color. Well, this is the very front, so I am fussing a little bit with it just because it is the front of the um, project. And I'm going to see it. Well, maybe not. If I have files standing in, I may never see it and think, well, what was the point of fussing about that? But... Or I may use shorter things in here. I do have shorter digitals that are partially cut that I may want to put in here. Um, where did that paper go? This is actually just a piece of deli paper, but I love to use deli paper to glue on. I bought a big old package of it on Amazon one year, many years ago when I first started out. So, um... had it in my stash for a while. You know, it took me about three years to build some of the, um, I had scrapbooking stuff and a lot of tools, but not everything. And, but to get stuff like this, the double-sided tape and, a, you know, a newer punch and punches and certain glues and this paper, it took me about three years to collect everything to where I'm at now. And it was, you know, some things I bought used, some I bought new. Looking for good deals. I joined Amazon Prime because I didn't have to pay shipping and I could get it quicker. And sometimes it was the only place I could find things. Wasn't as familiar with Etsy at the time. Sort of knew about it, but didn't. So it, it took me a little while to, um, to get where I'm at with my supplies and stuff. So don't think that, you know, I had everything and, oh, that you have to have all this stuff. You don't. I just chose to because it's just my way, but everybody's different. 
the nice thing about junk journaling is you can journal with junk and that's exactly the reality of it and I loved it because at first I didn't have anything so I did I journaled with whatever I could find I made things journals and and ephemera with whatever I could find in my stash or whatever I had in my house or old used things that you know my dad's papers or whatever so I didn't always wasn't always at the level I'm at now I'm very thankful to be where I'm at but it took me a long time to get here I did have a few friends who sent me things and helped me out so that was great my sisters emptied out both of them emptied out their old stationery I mean it was like everybody was like super helpful to get me going um I still don't have everything I would love to have but you know I just figure well I can make do without it's easier I've gone for some newer tools because my tools are hard on my hands that I had so okay this is what I was talking about I just threw those scraps away I probably could have put them right there well let me try something I'm gonna really pink it up really 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 pink it up heavily inky pinky I might have to get out my um, Victorian velvet there. Let's see if I can make that more pink. Well, you can really, I know you guys can't, but I can really hear the construction work going on, I think, on the highway. Greg, my husband hadn't been out at all, so he was going to go check. You know, keep a good thought for him. He hasn't been feeling well either. Um, he's going to the doctor today. I don't know if he's gotten a hiatal hernia or if he's got, you know, just like too much acid reflux or if he's got a gallbladder issue. I hope not. He is the worst patient in the world. He's not home right now. Can you tell he's out running errands? <laughs> he is. He's the worst patient. Oh, and he had his heart attack. Talk about a pain in the rear end. Yikes. Great guy, but don't get him sick. Oh, what a baby. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, that works. We'll just do that. Um, so I'm hoping it's, he doesn't need gallbladder surgery. We'll see. He's going to the doctor today. Fingers crossed everybody that he's healthy because I really need him. So I depend on him for everything. Okay. He helps me with my business. He helps me with my YouTube. He takes care, helps take care of our home, helps with meals, helps, does all the shopping because of COVID. I don't go out. Um, so like he is like my right arm and of course we've been together our whole lives so since I was 12 so it's like I wouldn't know what to do without him I'd be lost I think I'd just be done so I need him to be okay I'm hoping it's just stress but he's still not feeling good even after a week so hmm keep him in your good thoughts and prayers He's like necessary to this channel, people. So he posts all my videos, does all the write-ups. So otherwise I wouldn't be doing this. So we need Mr. Greg to be better. He goes to the doctor this afternoon. So I'm hoping we'll get some answers. I'll let you know. There we go. Okay, there's the front. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, I love it. I am thinking though that I probably want to add it now because... Um, I think if I put all the pretties on it and then I'm trying to press it down, I would ruin the pretties. So what we will do, I'm trying to find a place to put all this stuff that I yanked out and pulled out here. I'm really happy with it. Okay. Let me see. Let's put some of this stuff back. I don't need it all right now. I'll keep that out and I'll keep that out. Okay. Now. Oh, I love it. I'm going to love having that sit on my desk. See, and it's sparkly. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of sparkles in up here and here. Um, where'd my back piece go? Yeah, it's got sparkles here and here and here. So I don't know if you could see that or not. But anyway, it's sparkly. I like bling. So let's see. Now we want to add our covers. So this ought to be fun. Alrighty. We will do our back cover first. This is the front. Yes, this is the back. We've already done our papers. 
Let me pull this off. Oh, hubby's home. So you might hear him clomping around down there. I leave the door to the studio open when I'm by myself. So he might be. All right, so we're going to stand it up. And we're going to stand this one up. Keep in mind, once they touch, that's it. So I try to line up the corners as best I can. Then I take my bone folder or scissors or whatever, and I Oh, woohoo, I sent my husband out for something fun to play with. Anyone got it for me. Yay! For a project we're going to be doing. All right, he found it. Ha ha. Awesome. Okay, he just set it on my desk. <laughs> he's like a little ninja. He sneaks in and sneaks out, and you never know he's been here. Okay, the back's on. Now let's go for the front. Whew, I worked up a sweat putting that on. I got nervous. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here goes the last one. I have my little pokey tool out. If I couldn't get it off, I would pick it off, you know, on the end. Um, like this, and I'll bring it up. Just so you know how to use it. Use a tool if you cannot get it off. You use one of your pokey tools. It's got to be kind of pointy, though. I don't know if a, um, what do you call it? A awl would work. It might. Okay, here comes the front cover. This is eight deep. I chose eight of these. Six in the middle, and then the cover, the cover, and the back. Okay, so here we go. All right. Mm, darn it. It moved on me. Well, that's there. Nothing I can do about it. We're good. All righty. So we now have our expandable file folder. Woohoo! Isn't that pretty? Now, now is the point where you would decorate it up, right? Well, look at that. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Isn't that fun? And look how it stands up. Okay, now the test. Okay, I'm going to grab some files, guys. Give me a half a sec. We're just going to grab a bunch of these. And they're not all going to go in there because I'm going to have to take them out of their things, I think. But I wanted to see what would happen. The goal was to, oh, let's see. I'm hoping these are going to expand out like they're supposed to. I'm just going to throw a few in here. I'm wondering if I'm going to have to add. Now, I saw this made this way, so but I never saw it full. But it, they weren't putting anything in as heavy as I am in either. So what I was thinking was just like this, maybe. Or we could go like this. If it's stand, if it's too, I wanted I wanted it to stand up so I could kind of see what was in there. See, and then you go like this. This. Mm, I'm wondering. Okay, now what I am thinking. Huh, so with the envelopes are too heavy. Yeah, see, with just paper, it's fine. I'm gonna have to move all this. for a minute. Oh, and that pile's just leaning Tower of Pizza. <laughs> now, what I am thinking is, the reason is because these bottoms expand out. So, what should I use to do that? Maybe I could use my, um, I was wondering if I was going to have to open them, and I am. You can't do it before because then it's too hard to glue them down. Okay, that's not working. How about it's ripping the bottom? So, what if we do that? That works. Yeah, good old Tim Holtz ruler there. Put Timmy to work here. I'm using my hand. And then I can use the Tim Holtz to kind of get into the corners. Oh, see, that's creating a much wider bottom. See, much wider bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Okay getting the bottoms open because they're closed. Well, 
Oh my gosh. What I'll probably have to do is work on getting it open, see what I can get in there, and then come back and share with you if this was a positive thing or an epic fail. I think if you want to keep it closed and leave it laying on your desk, I think it would be great, but I want this to stand up up against my shelves here so that I can um, have those where I can grab them real easy. Just maybe see the end of it so I know which one's which. You know, paper clip them together or whatever or binder clip them together. Sorry, you probably get in my head in here but you're just going to have to. Oh, I missed one. I don't mind that it's wide because I have plenty of space for it to, to expand out. I want it to be an expandable stand-up folder. No, no, I could have gone to the store to the, but I don't have any stores near me. I have no stores in my town, literally no stores. I have Target. That's it. We had more, but everything has closed. They're building new stores. Like I think we're getting a TJ Max or a Marshalls or something. I don't know. We're getting something like that. Now oh, this ruler is great for this. Huh. So, oh, look at that. <laughs> well, it stands up like I want it to. <laughs> Alrighty. Goes along with my goofy day I'm having. Oh, well, you know. <sighs> Worked out so much, you guys. I'm exhausted. I think I'm ready for lunch. I want a girl. Huh. But I think now with it expanded oh let me see what i got here these are all shabby dabby doodah and see what i mean they're like all these things so what i wanted to do was have them standing in here so i could see them so if i put this in the back i think i'm gonna have to take everything out of the plastic which is fine because it was just crazy leaving them in there like that and if I fussy cut all the pieces, they end up going into other little pouches and things. So these are uncut fussy cuts and um, digital files. So, uh, gosh, okay, so that's it for today's project. Um, I will come back and show you what it looks like decorated in full on another day. Uh, before we go, I will show you some finished projects I did. The last video, if you remember, I was making these little tag pockets. Let me get rid of this. And uh, I wanted to show you what the, I ended up with. So I was showing you this one that was already made at the time, but then I made a pretty little tag to go in it. Isn't that pretty? It's going in a journal. Actually, it's going with a journal as a thank you for the person who buys my journal. Um, I made this one, but I haven't decorated it. I have left it undecorated. So because I don't know what journal it's going in. I have some blue journals I'll be doing, and I'm thinking maybe for a blue journal. So I made that. I did finish the one we did on video, and here it is. This is what I ended up with. I did stickle. I don't know if you could see, but I stickled all everything. I made the little card, um, which is a uh, journaling card, and I made the belly band. This is what I ended up with. I changed what I was going to do, and I stickled this, this, added lace, and some bling. So, and then this is what I put in the fussy cut, and that is stickled. And I put a pretty butterfly, some bling, and some lovely lace. And then I made oh, that tag, which you saw, which was a belly band tag, but I had it um, a little eyelet, a bulb pin, a little charm. Um, you saw me make this, I but I added some bling. I did stickles it on all of it because that's what I made. This one I added a butterfly to, so butterflies and roses for my theme here. This is going in a journal, I think, and if not, it'll go as something else or get sold as a set or who knows what I'll do with it. I haven't really decided. Um, I do have a journal I think it's going in, but I'm not sure. I don't think it's grungy enough. You saw me make, uh, you didn't see me make this one, but this is the one I showed you before, and this was an extra tag. So all in all, in our last video, we did eight pieces. So um, I just wanted to share with you what I had made. Um, so, well, that's it, you guys. I just wanted to bring you along, show you what I was making. Thought you'd get a kick out of it. because, <laughs> And maybe it's something you could use. I do have another project I'm going to use with those same expandable folders. So if, you know, you like the idea, get yourself some, maybe give it a try, and then let me know what you think. So, all right, you guys, I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. And I'm so thrilled all of you were here. And I love you guys and hugs and kisses. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.